Who is most likely to do weird things in public? Whoa. <laughs> do I do weird things and I don't know? Yeah, I got lost in it. <laughs> I got lost in his so eyes there for a minute. Lucky it. Aussie rules! Welcome to Aussie rules. I'm Nicola Barr from the GWS Giants AFLW team. I'm Louise Stevenson from the GWS Giants AFLW team. Hey everyone, I'm Stephen Kinelio from the GWS Giants. Hey guys, I'm Lockie Whitfield from the GWS Giants. And today, we're doing the most likely to challenge. <laughs> okay, so to play this game, we've got a few questions in front of us. We're gonna pick a question out, um, we're gonna ask the question. We're going to nominate who is most likely to be Have that person. Be that person. So yeah. it might be Louise. Me? Or, or, or me. Nicola. Or someone else All from the us. club. Yes. Perfect. Alright, you go Hello. first, mate. I'll start, mate. What do we got here? Who is most likely to become a supermodel? <laughs> Hands down. I'm gonna say me. <laughs> I'm good looking. But yeah, you good are. Looking right, no, yeah. <laughs> I'll start with the first question. Oh, I'm excited. Who is most likely to have gotten into trouble at school? <laughs> Louise. Oh. No. You you just went to pick no, up me. No, I was kind of thinking about it. Well, you're always late. Oh, okay, yes, always late. Always late. That's me. I'm changing that. So, you. It's a work in progress. Yeah. Who is most likely to become a man? Mmm. Tough one. Jeez. Probably Shory, man. I'm going to say, I was going to yeah. say, I was thinking that as well. We'll definitely not Shory or something, right. yeah. We're Actually, a bit more vanilla. Yeah. Shory will be doing something silly that we'll get on. Who is most likely to be the leader in a battle at the zombie apocalypse? Can we Cora just... Staunton. Yes. She just goes She for just it. knows what needs to be done she, and she'll just go do that. Yeah, and she would sort of just charge through the pack. Yes. No matter like she'd use Drive those really legs. strong hips. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Cora. <laughs> I wish I was more like Cora. Who is most likely to do something embarrassing in public? Shamefully. No, no <laughs> or unashamedly. Yeah. Who is most likely to have the highest grades in an exam? Okay, that's Me? Nicola. Yeah. yeah. Med science loves her studying. Loves it. And we all hear about it. Well, how much she loves her studying. Much, but I do love constantly well, going back a bit to uni. Of a nerd. Yep. Who's most likely to drop their phone and shatter their screen? You should see my phone now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just keep rocking with it. Who is li most likely to be in a commercial? Oh. <laughs> Louise. Have we seen? No. Have you seen the Kim's Warehouse ad? <laughs> we were actually in a commercial together for Sports Girl. We were. Okay. We were Sports Girl girls. So we were models. <laughs> for a little bit. Yeah, we were. Yeah. For Special. like a week. I still nominate. So anyway, Louise. it's both of us <laughs> for that. Me and Louise. Who is most likely to forget what they're doing midway through doing it? <laughs> I'm bad at that. Oh. I'll tell a story and halfway through the story forget where I'm at. <laughs> Who is most likely to forget a new person's name? Oh, Hanine. Yeah, Hanine. Hanine. Hanine, really good. She'll just yeah. call them babes. Yeah, she'll just call them babes. She's improving though. Yeah, she, yeah we love her. Yeah. Who is most likely to take <laughs> the most selfies? Out of yeah. us two. Stefano. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Not a me, but like this <laughs> All the uh, famous counterparts. Yeah, yeah, yeah mate. Yeah. <laughs> Who is most likely to spend way too much time online? I'm on my Instagram. Louise loves Instagram. You I love well. Instagram. Come on, <laughs> that's both of, okay, us. both of us. Both of us. We love Instagram. Sorry, love Actually, Instagram. do you know who is? Who? Alan McConnell. Alan McConnell, Alan our head McConnell. coach. Head yeah. coach. Loves Instagram. On it all the time. But Nicola and I both enjoy the gram. Yeah, we do. Who is most likely to win at a staring competition? We should do one. <laughs> <laughs> we should oh, do see. Oh, let's do one. I'm laughing already. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I got lost in it. <laughs> I got lost in his so eyes there for a minute. Lucky you. I think I just fell in love. Yeah. <laughs> Who is most likely to do weird things in public? Whoa. <laughs> do I do weird things and I don't know? Nah, you don't really actually. I probably do. It's like just, being a bit crazy. Well, this morning I did yoga in the park with dogs. That was kind of weird. The dogs did the yoga? Well, Were I'm they sort your of, clients? I'd, I'd pay, <laughs> they were my clients. They paid Down with dogs, they would have been very good at. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I started doing some yoga yeah. in a park, which happened to be a dog park. So it was a little bit disruptive, but also really made me concentrate on that mindfulness. Who's most likely to drink the most coffee? Yeah, Mate, we'll look at my hands right now. That's, yeah. that's four coffees in today. 
Yeah, I'll do it, yeah. Oh, you know what? Jeremy Cameron has, like, uh, yeah. 80 day or something. Jezza like. has about, like, yeah, eight before midday. And the milk's, like, straight <laughs> to the top of the It's, top all, it's almost white. Know, it's got music. Who is most likely to spend the most time on their hair? Oh, neither of us. Neither of us, obviously. Obviously. Yours looks lovely. But, Thanks. on the hair... <laughs> Tanya Hetherington? Oh, Tanya. Tanya Hetherington. Loves a good straighten. Mm, loves loves a good actually, straighten pre-training. Yeah, yeah, just to get the flicks away. Yeah, and then when BNF comes around, there's a lot oh, of... Oh, there's waves. Puts a lot of time and thought into that. Yeah, look good, play good. Yeah, feel good. That's actually a direct quote from Taylor Davies. Look oh, good, okay. Good. So maybe a bit of Tay Davies. So maybe yeah. Tay Davies as well. Look good, feel good, yep. play good. Um, who is most likely to go on a shopping spree and spend way too much money? We were actually just talking about this. Our locker room Probably that. is bad. Yeah, that's a dirty double. Um, our locker room is bad at the moment. Yeah. There's an addiction to high, high end fashion at the minute and it's getting out of control. Yeah. <laughs> if it's not already out of yeah, control, it's, it's getting, getting out of control. It's getting... Which we love. <laughs> who is most likely to win an Olympic medal? That's me. Louise, oh, do you know why? Louise has just begun gymnastics. Actually, you did do it very when you were late, younger, very but she's come back to the again. sport, very talented, doing some incredible flicks. Yes. So I'll, I'm really proud of you, actually. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Oh, this is a funny one. Who's most likely <laughs> to dye their hair a crazy colour? Well, if we were post Christmas, you'd probably see some blonde tips in his hair. Yeah, um, probably me. Yeah, probably film this. Mind you, yeah. I've got the lemon juice in my locker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had, yeah. We'll see what we can do. Definitely uh, went through a phase where blonde streaks were, were in. All right, who is most likely to watch romantic movies? I love a rom-com. Oh, you. I love rom-coms. Who are you thinking? Of course, Daunted. Oh, yes, Cora as well. I think you Just do. Think you do. Okay, thanks. I'm a bit of a sucker as well for yeah. them, though. Love. Okay. Love a rom-com. All of us. We're all in this together. I think we all pretend to be really tough footy players, but end of the day, we all go home for rom-com. Who is most likely to lock themselves out of their house? You did, you were saying before, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's bad, yeah. We literally spoke about this today. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I'm thinking about retiring and becoming a locksmith. <laughs> Who is most likely to go swimming with sharks? You're adventurous. Well, I do, do swim with sharks, actually, sometimes. Oh! Not like great whites, but wobbygongs. 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 Did you just make that up? No. Wobbygong sounds like they don't have teeth and they're like jelly. Yeah, it's not wobbly gong, it's <laughs> wobbly gong. <laughs> that was the most likely two challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see a little bit more, check us out on Instagram or on TikTok. Catch you later. Catch you later. Bye.